that Yahweh God has been so kind to say to us, and as it says in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 13, and therefore be thou not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. So we should be grateful, and I'd like for us to go stay in Jeremiah 33. Could somebody read verse 7 for me? Because we, you know. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and build them as at the first. See, build them as at the first. Go read down. Go ahead. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned whereby they have transgressed against me. There you go. So, see, Yahweh wants us to search out. See, these things we must know. Continue to walk in the Torah, because that's your salvation to the very end. Don't let nobody discourage you, because Yahweh God has promised us, and He will deliver it in His time, His season, he will, and the purpose by which he has created this universe. We don't have to worry about whether he would do it. He will do every word that is proceeded out of his mouth. We should be thankful to give our children such a magnificent and wonderful gift. Being a rebellious people, we withdraw from rebellion and we sit in obedience. May Yahweh bless each and every one of us. May the Spirit of our God rest upon us. May we love Yahweh God with all our mind, body, and might. For Yahweh is God. The Shabbat Kaya <laughs> Ya Tisra, Samawaka, La Tisra, Shalawama, Shalawama, Ya, Aka, Ata, Aha, Ata, Hawa, Baya Hawa, Ata, Ya, Ata, Kaya, Baya Ha, Ya Hawa, Tisra, Aqwa, Maya. Kaya la a la khasha wa yakaba wa la a wa sama wa yashara Allah 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 This is the greatest of our lives, and every time we open up the Torah, every time we make that contact in prayer, 
and being conscious of our desire to walk in a straight and narrow path. We ask your spirit of obedience to be upon us, that we may do and serve you as it is right to do. You have kept your word. Now let us keep ours to be the people that you have claimed to be for yourself and chosen. Truly, Yahweh God, we ask for your blessing. We ask that we put that which is most essential in our lives for the benefit of ourselves, for the benefit of our children, and those generations uh, to come in the days that even though we be not here, let us set the pattern. Let us to the destination that is promised to us that we will come back and be a gracious and not only gracious and great nation, but a righteous and honorable nation that we will serve you and do your will for our good. May Yahweh bless each and every one of us. May the Spirit rest upon us. May He bless the sick. May He bless the downtrodden. Those that are in prison, that have been incarcerated, that are innocent. May He bless those that have been sick by neglect or even by those that have done crafty and wicked things. May He bless those that sit and watch in prayer constantly uttering the things of righteousness so that we may have a bunker by which we stand behind which is thy holy and righteous name that we set up in our defense against the unseen that which we wrestle against that is not flesh and blood that we will truly know that we will be victorious because Yahweh God is with us and those things that have done secretly, unbeknown to us, it shall come to light. And their children shall tell it of the horror that they plan, of the deceitfulness, of the fraud, of the misgiving that is so wickedly done in such private places. It shall all come to light. Yahweh shall rain upon them the light of what they have done in darkness, it shall come to light. May Yahweh's name be ever praised. Amen. Amen.